In the last video, I already discussed about the date time function, uh, which is the totally covered of the each and every uh, function which is the use into the date time. And uh, also, I discussed about the uh, use cases, means uh, how you can utilize the date time function in the real time and uh, even the in the interview also. Okay, so if you didn't get a chance, uh, just you can watch the video number 28 uh, uh, before starting to. Uh, uh, this video so uh, in this video I'm going to discuss about the difference between the uh, date time and uh, date time too okay and uh, this is the very important uh, concept for the interview point of view so if you uh, preparing for any type of the interview which is the related to the sequel uh, definitely you will get uh, this type of the question so uh, let's start with this uh, sequel server management studio and uh, learn what is the difference between the date time and date time to function so uh, basically whenever you work with the any of the column which is storing the uh, date time uh, then we can use the date time function like for example here uh, we have this uh, dim employee table and the column is the hiring date birth date updated created so this type of the column uh, we will always use the date function okay but if you storing the date time uh, you you need to use the date time function so the difference between date and date time is uh, the date is basically store the data so if you uh, see the what data type for the birth date so if you press the alt f1 and you can see the structure of the table so you can see the hiring date and the birth date is the data type with the date but Suppose if you have the requirement to store the date and time together, means uh, uh, what time uh, what time the data is got updated, and what time even the millisecond or second also, so we can use the date time. But why we can why we'll use the date time too? So date time two function is basically is more uh, giving the length of the millisecond. Okay, so for example, suppose if you have the uh, suppose if you have the uh, requirement uh, like to more uh, accuracy in term of the millisecond then you can use the date time so let's see example I'm declaring two variables date time uh, date time and date time to and I'm assigning the gate UTC date uh, which is the basically used to store the uh, server date and time and if you want to system date and time you can use the gate date and I'm selecting here uh, okay so you can see the output difference is only in term of the a mole number of the letter into the millisecond like this is the date uh, 16th of january 7 7 is the 7 is the hour this is the uh, minute this is the second and this is the millisecond millisecond is coming to 333 but here you can see only three letter is coming so in millisecond if you require the more letter into the output a more digit in the output uh, you can use the date time to function let's see the real time example so I'm creating this table which is the employee ID and the hiring date and the birth date is there so this table is already there okay so uh, let me drop this table and we can recreate this table okay so I'm dropping this table and creating this table and uh, I'm inserting the data from the uh, hiring date okay because the hiring date and birth date column is available into the dim employee table so if you insert data from the bulk dim employee a dim employee table is only available for the date okay so you will get in the timing 000, 000. but let's try to insert some get utc date something is there okay so if you try to insert the get utc date uh, from the hiring date and birth date i am using the minus 25 years means uh, they back to minus five, 25 years so how you can add last video i already discussed in detail date add function so once you insert this one once you insert this one uh, you can see uh, the output in the last column it will inserted with the date time column okay so date inserted with the date and time 7 9 28 9 70 so but in the because we put it the uh, uh, hiring date is the date birth date is the date time too so in place of the birth date you can see the output is showing that 928 977 00 
so if you required more digit in the millisecond uh, you can use the date time too but if you don't require the not impact in the requirement of the any millisecond you can use the date time function only so uh, so in the next video i'm going i will discuss about this i will discuss about the uh, how you can validate the date and time function so thank you for the watching